What up, y'all? All right, this is Eric Washington again coming at you with another memoir. Um, as you know, this is for my kids and my grandkids and my kids, 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 and kids, 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 kids. But if you lean with it, rock with it, roll with it, thank you very much. Like, share, subscribe. But look, I wanted to get into something real quick before um, it escapes my mind. So this memoir is going to talk about why I'll never cheat on my significant other. Um, I currently do have a significant other. We've been together going on... This, this will be our fourth year uh, together. This will be our... Yeah, this will be our fourth year together. Going on fourth. Year number four. Sorry. Anyways. Um, and, you know, regardless of whatever happens, you know, whether uh, I end up with her or... or uh, I'm with someone else or really this is this is for y'all my kids and my grandkids um so if y'all have a significant other I this, this is why I would never cheat on my significant other first and foremost um as you can probably tell going on with this and going on with this I have no juice to drip I have negative juice to drip um and this is March 20 2019 so y'all probably ain't gonna use that in the future, but I have zero juice to drip. So what the hell do I look like trying to holler at somebody, trying to get somebody just to get publicly curved and or publicly shamed or publicly embarrassed and then still lose my significant other? Like, no, that's insane. That's nasty and insane. So that's the that's the first reason I won't do it. Um, second reason, second reason is, uh, I genuinely love my significant other very, 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 very much. Um, she is valuable. She's a valuable individual, a valuable human being. Now, do not get that misconstrued with that I'm calling her or I'm saying she's property. I'm not saying that. I'm saying she's a valuable individual. She has a beautiful mind. She's a, first of all, she's beautiful aesthetically. Um, I'm not going to use words like, like um, she's pretty, gorgeous, good looking, whatever. Because I, I'm trying to not talk about uh, things that she she has that serve me or that serve others. I'm trying to talk about her as an individual. So she's a valuable individual. She is very beautiful aesthetically she's pleasing to the eye she has a beautiful mind she has a beautiful heart she has a beautiful personality she is a genuinely good person um, so she's she is a valuable individual she um, she is she is educated she and that's not saying that if you're not formally educated or not educated what do they say, post-secondary, whatever, that doesn't mean you're not valuable. I'm just saying that she has these, I would say, traditional and or you could probably argue, I guess, these, yeah, these traditional qualities, but um, but she's educated. She has a great head on her shoulders. She um, genuinely knows right from wrong. She's, um, she's, she's sharpened steel, sharpened iron. Um, because she's been through things in her life before me um, that have caused her to think differently, think more maturely, think um, with more with more critical, complex, nuanced thinking, uh, and to therefore act upon that. So, twice. The so second, she's a valuable individual. She's valuable. I would not want to lose her for one night of of actually when you're when you cheat unless it's a full blown affair you're really rolling the dice on whether or not it'll even be pleasurable so i'm not going to take the chance of losing my significant other uh off the roll of the dice uh that one night with another woman would be more pleasurable or equally pleasurable so if you want to bring mathematics into it, that could be a 2.5. So one, I don't got the juice or the drip. Two, she's a valuable human being. Two and a half, um, you're rolling the dice when you cheat. You're rolling the dice. 
Um, and then third, um, and this is probably the most important. Um, this is probably the most important third is I don't want to perpetuate these systems of embarrassing, disrespecting, demoralizing, marginalizing, what have you, black, black women, uh, the black women community. And I say that because um, I was listening to one of my favorite podcasts, The Read, today. You can see the timestamp. I was, but it was the episode in which they're talking about the Jordan Woods, Tristan Thompson, Chloe Kardashian situation, and somehow um, the host of the read they they meandered into the whole uh, Travis Scott Kylie Jenner situation and how uh, Travis Scott is allegedly reportedly whatever word you want to use. Uh, being unfaithful towards Kylie, whom uh, he has a uh, daughter with, Stormy. And they were referencing a tweet that I guess went viral that said that racially ambiguous women will go out of their way to to get modifications that resemble black women in order to obtain black men but that doesn't save them from the, their racial ambiguity. Although they have these black features, they, it doesn't save them from the disrespect uh, that black men perpetuate towards black women. And I said, yeah, okay, sure, yeah. I, I subscribe. I subscribe to that. But I also said that, okay, well, um, when it comes to my relationship, I, I'm not going to... If anything, if before anything, if let's say if one through two and a half work out and I end up finding some drip, I uh, I for some reason don't see my significant other as valuable, and then two and a half I feel like rolling the dice, you know, and then and then but then the very last thing would be I would never that would be my last barrier that would be my last wall that's probably the most impenetrable two two and two and a half two really two my woman my my significant other being valuable is definitely the impenetrable one but let's just say for the sake of argument that two two i penetrate two no pun intended penetrate two penetrate two and a half the impenetrable wall would be not perpetuating the system of disrespecting black women um and that's really simple as that i mean for my for my kids 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 who are watching it um i mean i don't really know how else to explain it i i think you know there, there's just if you look at the timestamp we're just in this era where we're more willing to talk about the fact that uh there is a a clear divide between the the black man community and i say man because for those i guess that identify as men and the black woman community for those that identify as black women um, there's a there's a, this sort of systemic systematic divide um, in which there's there's a lot of disrespect from the black male community black men community towards the black women community for multiple reasons and we'll get in those on future um, memoirs but yeah I just wanted to say I just wanted to, to take my time out while there's still good natural light even though this light is killing my face and making my forehead look huge. I have hair. I have hair. I just want to let y'all know I have hair. I don't have much of a hair line, but I have hair. So, I just have a big forehead. I just have a big forehead. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. Um, so, yeah. So, let's let's recap, children. Let's recap. So, one, I would never cheat. Me personally, because I ain't got juice to drip. Now you may have juice to drip. I'm sure. I'm sure you're. Be I'm sure you are beautiful children, or uh, young men, or women, or or uh, however old you are watching this. But I'm sure you're beautiful. I'm sure you're gorgeous. So you may have juice to drip. However, if you get to number two, 
I would I would challenge you to really take a step back and think about the value of your significant other. Think about the value. Uh, regardless of, of whom you date, what gender uh, or gender identification, uh, I encourage you to look at who you're with now and really dissect and analyze the, their value as a human being. Not their value to you, because it's not about you. Uh, per se, that's a little bit. That's a that's a deeper, more nuanced topic. Probably when we're talking more about marriage, but um, and I would say even even with marriage, because you could if you see this while you're married or getting ready to marry, getting ready to get married, this this works with you. But understand, look at their value as a person, and if they're valuable, do you want to lose them to someone else or just lose them? Period. Do you want to lose them? Are they valuable as a person, right? And I don't mean this whole philosophical everyone's valuable. I mean like valuable, you know what I mean. <laughs> like like valuable, not just in a relationship, but just valuable. Are they valuable? Um, and then two and a half, really think and analyze, do you want to roll that dice? And I know I ain't, I've never, I've never had, I, like I said, I'm no ladies man, so I never really had these opportunities of temptation. But from what I do know is that uh, it could happen fast. So I know it's hard to think about that. But if you're ever in a situation um, where you about to cheat or you about to do something you ain't supposed to be doing, just two and a half. Think, think, just think. Is this worth? Is this worth rolling the dice? Is this worth rolling the dice? Because it's only going to be unless it's a, unless it ends up being a full blown affair. It's only going to be for one night. Um, and I don't know what you're working with, but it might only be for a few minutes. Uh, so is it, is it worth it? You know, is it worth it? Um, and then of course three, um, think about, it. do you really want to perpetuate a system, uh, of, of, or perpetuate a, a trope or a stereotype or whatever you want to call it, a black men, um, uh, continuously disrespecting and and unappreciating uh that's another big thing just not appreciating the the value of a black woman as, as a companion so all right that's it that's it for me uh, again this is for my kids and my kids kids and my kids 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 but if you liked it if you uh if you leaned with it rocked with it rolled with it i appreciate y'all i love y'all uh to my kids to everyone who bears the Washington name after me. I love y'all. Um, like, share, subscribe, spread the word. Uh, help me make this money so I can pay my student loans. All right. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not really. Okay, bye.